McKenzie, uh, author and illustrator of Wanted, Ralphie Rabbit Book Burglar. Um, I thought you might like to hear this story today. So, here we go. This is Ralphie Rabbit and a big pile of books. Some rabbits dreamed of lettuces and carrots. Others dreamed of flowering meadows and juicy dandelions. But Ralphie was a little bit different. Ralphie dreamed about books. In fact, he didn't just dream about them. He wanted to read all the time. He made lists of all the books he'd read and gave them carrot ratings. He made lists of all the books he wanted to read and placed them in category order. He even made lists of books to recommend to his family and friends. Maybe you could try doing that. You could make a list of your favourite books, like Ralphie does. Ralphie loved to learn new words. He loved the smell of books and the sound of the pages flicking. He loved getting lost in stories, pretending he was the captain of a pirate ship or an intrepid jungle explorer. Yes, Ralphie loved books so much that he started creeping into people's bedrooms and reading their books while they were sleeping. <gasps> Naughty Ralphie! And then one thing led to another. Ralphie didn't just read the books, he took them home. He crept off with comics and cookbooks. He dashed away with dictionaries, nabbed novels and pinched poetry. Ralphie had more books to read than ever before. And he was very pleased with himself. Arthur loved reading too. He had shelves buckling with fairy tales and bookcases bursting with picture books. So when Gap started to appear, along with half-eaten carrots and soggy lettuce leaves, and his favourite book, the biggest book of monsters ever, went missing, Arthur noticed. Someone was taking Arthur's books. Look, look who it is. Can you see? It was time to find out who. Arthur assembled his special surveillance kit. He's got a torch and some other stuff and his teddy bear. Then with Teddy to keep him company, he sat in the dark and waited and waited. Soon he heard a rustle. Arthur frantically rummaged in the dark for his camera and his binoculars. He shone his torch into the dark corners of his bedroom and that's when he spotted Ralphie. Stop! Come back here, you little bunny book thief, Arthur cried. But it was too late. Look, there's Ralphie's fluffy bottom bouncing off the page. Arthur was furious. He noticed it. He told his mum, but she just laughed. A bunny book thief. Arthur, I think your imagination is running wild. He told his teacher, but she just said, Arthur, I want you to go away and have a long, hard think about what you're saying. What could Arthur do? That rascally rabbit had taken his favourite book of all time and no one believed him. There was only one thing for it. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Arthur called his local police station. A bunny book thief, you say? Well, fancy that. Was there um, anything unusual about this rabbit? Can you give me a description? said PC Puddle, sniggering. Well, he was brown, said Arthur, with a fluffy white tail. Oh, and he was wearing a t-shirt that said, I love books. With that, PC Puddle laughed out loud. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I'll let you know if we discover anything. He snorted. Oh, that night, Arthur felt fed up. He went to bed without a story and he hardly slept at all. Meanwhile, Ralphie found another house with plenty of books to pinch. Look, there's some clues. I can see a policeman there. I wonder where he is. But this time, Ralphie was in big trouble. He'd burrowed up into PC Puddle's house. Well, 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 what have we here? said PC Puddle. Could it be 
dear little bunny bug, they thought it was light all along. Pussy Puddle called Arthur straight away and told him he'd caught the culprit red-handed. Please come to the police station first thing tomorrow to identify your bunny book thief, he said. Easy, thought Arthur. There can't be many rabbits who love wear I love books t-shirts. You would think. But he was wrong. Arthur had never seen so many rabbits and they were all wearing them. This was going to be harder than he thought. Look how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But then PC Puddle pressed a big red button and alarm bell rang and the Eckham Bay about started moving in front of the bunny liner. As lettuce leaves, apples, carrots and dandelions whizzed by, all the rabbits began to feast, except for one. Look at them all, they're scoffing. Ralphie wasn't interested until a very special treat passed by. Ralphie's looking at a big pile of books. Oh, it's tricky to turn the pages. Ralphie couldn't resist. In a frenzy, he started flicking through a pile of books. Aha, gotcha. You are in big trouble, said PC Puddle. I'm sorry, stammered Ralphie. I just can't get my books. And you mustn't just go around stealing them. You'll have to put them all back. Suddenly, Arthur began to feel sorry for Ralphie. After all, it was only because he loved books so much that he managed to get himself into trouble. If you want lots and lots of books to borrow, said Arthur, I know exactly where you can get them. The library! Oh, what a lovely big library look. Ralphie's really excited. He's never been to the library before. Last page. Ralphie and Arthur are best book buddies now. And they love reading together whenever they can. And they, especially Ralphie, always take the books back. The library is their favourite place. Note to read it says at the bottom. The next time you pop into your local library, be on the lookout because you might, just might, spot Ralphie and Arthur reading there too. Oh look, they're really enjoying that book. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if the videos worked okay, uh, I'll film myself reading another one and maybe do some Ralphie drawings uh, together.